Hello, seventh grade. Today what I want to do is I want to show you guys how you can go ahead, get started with coming up with the ideas for your illuminated letters. So what I did is I went ahead and printed out the getting started sheet. You do not have to have this. If you don't have a printer at home or your printer's out of ink, you can't get it printed, that's fine. What I would do though is just grab a sheet of paper, preferably online computer paper would be perfect for this. I would draw out four rectangle shapes, kind of like you see here. You just use a straight edge or any kind of ruler would be perfectly fine. And then you can go ahead and begin your idea. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I got the sheet printed out, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on this one. But a few things that I wanna point out that I do want you to include when you put this together is, are these things. First and foremost, I do want you guys to have some kind of border on these letters. Now, if you want to measure these out, you can, but remember, these are rough ideas, okay? I mean, obviously, I want you to spend some time, make them look good, but you don't have to be terribly technical about them. If you're spending more than, gosh, one and a half hour working on one of these, you know, you might want to rethink about kind of the time and effort you're putting into them. But, you know, if you put, you know, spend a good 20 minutes on them, that's great. I think that's fantastic. Oh, no, this is, nice. I'm being a little technical here. This is a little bit, long, a little short right there. So I'm going to go ahead and lengthen that up a little bit for that border. All right, so you want to go ahead. Each one of these, you guys should have some kind of border. Now, what's kind of nice is you can add some kind of decoration around the side here. I'm not going to. But what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to think about taking my letter. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and take a letter from my middle name here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a J here. And I'm gonna have it extend outside the border, okay? So your letter should take up a good chunk of this idea sheet, okay? Of the space. You wanna make sure that it fills up that space, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and kinda of add that J in through there. If you want, you can go ahead and kind of race this up through here. And then you wanna think about, hmm, what are some patterns that I can go ahead and put on here? Now I had those two videos already uploaded on Schoology too, you could check out. Um, if I get a chance, I'll go ahead and put another sheet out there that shows some more examples that you can do. Um, but you know, maybe I wanna go ahead, I wanna go ahead, I'm just gonna have kind of like a little bit of a circular pattern that's gonna go on the top here, okay? All right, a little bit of a circular pattern. And then maybe I'm gonna go ahead, we have something that looks like it's kind of wrapping around. Ooh, that'd be kind of a cool idea. All right, just wrap around my J. All right, kind of like a vine, maybe a snake. Ooh, that's kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of add that in through there. Okay, all right. So uh, these are just some nice ideas that you could kind of come up with. You know, maybe you go ahead and kind of add a little bit through here. If you want to add some gradation to some shading to this, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to kind of fill in some of these areas, you can go ahead. Um, even a background, you know, even a background wouldn't be a bad idea too. You know, sometimes I've seen like little landscapes of the background. I've seen other types of shapes. You can go ahead and kind of do that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put in some kind of mountain scenes in the background there, keep it kind of light, not too much. So right there, perfectly fine. That'd be a great idea for one of these, but I need to see four ideas. Even if you come to me and say, but, but I really like this first one, Mr. Cross, that's great, but I wanna see you go ahead and go through with the rest of them. So for the other ones, go ahead, once again, get your border put on here, all right? And four ideas, even if you trace out four boxes, if you do more, that's great, that's great because they don't take you very long to do. All right, I'm gonna go do this. But it's not a bad idea also to maybe try a different letter. Like if you wanna try a letter from your last name or your first name, by all means you can go do this. Maybe I'll do my last initial, all right, which is a C. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and kinda add this in through here. And you guys, don't be afraid to take some of those examples too that I have on Schoology as well that show you how to draw in those old time fonts. All right, those are kinda nice to have as well. There you go. So I got that C kind of drawn in there. That looks cool. All right. Then think about, it. hmm, what do I want to do with this one? You know, I'm going to have this one be a little bit more of kind of a, a different kind of theme here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of add something in the background through there. All right. I'm going to kind of put in these. I'm going to put like little pine trees back in through here. All right. Maybe I'm going to actually, ooh, you know what? I got an idea. I'm going to turn this into like a little lake here. All right. A little lake. Got the ripples coming out there. Maybe we're going to give a little bobber here so we can do some fishing. Ooh, there you go. Kind of have the line coming up there. All right, go ahead and have that. And you know what? I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to turn these into fish as they're kind of going around my sea. All right. Once again, just kind of add a little bit more of a pattern, a little more decoration in through here. All right, there you go. All right. I, I think this is pretty much almost done here. I could add a few other things too if I wanted to. Ooh, I see another fish kind of peeking its head right through there. There we go. That's kind of fun too. Look at this other one. Look at that back tail fin coming up here. Got a little fin there. 
Very fun. All right. So there you go. All right. Got my second one done. Fantastic. Cool idea. I like where it's going. So I want to finish up the rest of these. Remember, you have to have four ideas. When you do get this done, please make sure you do submit it uh, so we can take a look at it. And when you guys get back, we'll go ahead. We'll start putting it together and creating our final illuminated letter project. Good luck.